Body cap. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. I'm just going to walk up and then look around the golf course. Okay, see you later. Good morning, welcome to Phuket Country Club. There's two courses here. Unfortunately, the driving range is on the other course. So I haven't got, oops, there's a step. I ain't got a chance to fix anything, but looking at the video from Red Mountain yesterday, I could see I was aiming all over the place, which is what happens when you're overheated. You know, your, your computing power diminishes rapidly. So it's cooler today. Obviously we've just had that rain and it's, it's still drizzling now. It's a bit like home really, apart from the humidity. So I'm just walking up to the starter now and uh, find my caddy and I'm just going to do a bit of seven iron feet together, see if I can find some timing and then we'll play this beautiful golf course. So after this we're back to the beginning, back to Lock Palm. Tomorrow I've got a one day, eight hour tour of the entire island. I'll video that and try and keep it brief but show you everything at the same time. See you on the first tee. First hole is a short par four. Going with driver. There's nothing down there really to worry about. If I can have that swing all day, I will be more than happy. Yes. So good. It all gets bad from here though. <laughs> In the rough, but not the monkey grass rough. Okay, so no driving range, but I'm trying much harder to aim better today. That was a hair skinny, so we know what that is, boys, don't we? That's the bowed left wrist. Got a great caddy in name of Noy. Here comes a soy dog. A lot of stray dogs in Thailand. And I got myself an uphill putt. Or slow. These greens are a hell of a lot slower than Red Mountain. So this is going to be a problem all day. Not that slow. That's okay. Well, the first thing I notice is how small these greens are. Far again. Couple. 18 bars, we're very <laughs> happy. 90 degree dog leg to the right. Just want a little banana. Okay, yeah. little banana. Yeah. Got some water down there, so just hitting the six sign out to the right and to lay up in a decent position. Now I've just lasered the flag and I know I don't want to go past it so I'm taking the wedge knowing that it's going to be short. And that's how you've got to think around here. You don't want any downhill putts. And even though this is a long way it's at least not a downhill putt. And we par again. Now we've got a 90 degree left. So I've done some lasering and it's the five wood. And it's spot on. Right, monkey grass fairway. These aren't easy to hit off. And even if you are playing well, you don't always get into the back of the ball properly. So that's the front bunker. 
and uh, I'm a little afraid of this because there's no sand in it. Decent enough shot, but that really was the best I could do without leaving it at my feet. That's better. That's good. Little par three, just going to draw the eight iron to a left hand flag. Although on this occasion, it just doesn't draw. Now left. Yeah. Okay. I okay. Give, I give you a Still. <laughs> Still short. Monkey grass tea box. I really don't like these. Oh. Didn't want to go there. Tight hole. But it's plenty okay. of room for a three wood. It's okay. short. You bought a bunker. Yeah. Right, so I knock this in to about 10 feet. Muck up the recording, but I did miss the birdie. Bit of a shame, really. Well, wet start. Now the sun's coming out a bit, so the humidity's going through the roof. I'm sweating like a nun in a brothel. But it's better than having your brain boiled by wall-to-wall -wall blue sky, I can assure you. But the, the laser's getting steamed up with the humidity. I was getting 60 yards. I tried I thought, try it again, 70 yards, then 80 yards. So the laser's struggling a little bit too. But as I say, it's better than getting your brain boiled. Humidity's okay. Another monkey grass tea box. Just been told to hit a fade. Go with a three wood and no banana. That's okay. Second shot. I just hit an easy one, which sometimes means that I drag it left. Oh, a little too, a little too easy. Yeah. And there is a reason why I don't put through the fringe. You don't see me doing this. That's because I'm crap. Noise just told me to hit three wood and I said no I'll go driver and I'll hook the driver and I didn't. It's okay, I think. Not, not okay. I think not okay. I love the sea face. And she was right. I was screwed. So I'm just wedging it across the fairway. And that's a bit big. Oh dear, Simon, you're making a mess of this. Maybe behind the next tree. Little nine iron, shut the face, chip and run. Good bogey, yeah. Good bogey. Par five to finish the nine. I seem to be aiming right. So I've got a bit of the old aiming rights going on again. Sometimes that happens just because you're messing around with a camera. Now I'm going to spank the lady boy out of this rough and hit a fade. Oh, that's great. Stop! Why you not banana? I think that's rough. Maybe because of rough. Yeah, no banana. I'm not sure I can get over this tree.
that's up par. That's a hairy golfer par if ever I saw one. Well, from where I was stood, it looked like it was two inches away. Well, it's nine feet. Perspective really does screw you up. So I'm bogeying a par five, which I really hate doing. You went the wrong way. <laughs> okay, now we, now we stop. The 10th hole is a par five. It's the signature hole. It goes all the way around the lake. And it's still going around. And the green is just over there behind those trees. It's about 230 yards to the flag from there. So here comes the real tee shot. I'm just going over that left hand bunker. Yeah. Yeah, I think I heard it. And now the fun tee shot. Now we didn't go look for this ball because the caddy said it was in the water. But I don't think it was. I'm aiming right again, silly boy. But we should have gone to look for this. Too much right. Water. Okay. So I pitched in the bank and then it rolled back into the bunker. So technically, I carried the bunker by about nine inches. How do you fancy that? Playing a bunker shot over the corner of that water. Yeah, that was a bit scary. I'm not too sure why, but the caddy was worried about my pitching wedge here. I wasn't in the slightest. Another thing about caddies while we're on the subject. Some of them can get very, very high expectations. And they expect you to hold everything from everywhere. And it can get it can get to you. I'm used to it, but if you go out there for the first time, I, I do that all day. Yesterday. You might not be used to the amount of whining you get when you're missing putts. In fact, after this next hole, I took a break. I walked away. I had a smoke. I had a drink. I washed myself down with some ice water. I basically spent six or seven minutes away from my caddy. But uh, if you're not used to it, the whining might actually get to you. It's quite funny, actually. Yeah, I didn't like that stand of trees on the right, so subconsciously I've tugged that. And I'm not too sure what the right thing to do here is, so I'm just going with the gap wedge. I'm trying to make a short swing. Mm. Oh. Okay, mate. Yeah, I think I hit with that. Bit of a cock up there, lads. Struggling with the putting today, and, and that happens when you go from golf course to golf course to golf course. And, uh, you know, when you've missed a couple on an under read, then you start missing a couple on an over read, but that's life, Jim. This is a beautiful course. Very small greens, which is, uh, you know, it focuses the attention. This was a front flag, which is the golfer's nightmare, isn't it, the front flag? Especially where I put this. Yeah, perhaps I should have straight face club there. Good. 
So I've just had my break and a wash down and a smoke and a drink. Oh, right. And then a bit of a lazy tee shot out to the right. Noy thought it might be in the water, but it was absolutely nowhere near the water. Here we go. Here we go. Stop. Okay. Then you say stop. 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 Oh wow. Long butt. Mm. We don't know what these are, but we do know you can't eat them. Big apple. Every time I miss one, I get told off. That's something that happens in Thailand occasionally. You can't birdie every hole from everywhere. Even five footers. Tong Tong, at last. Another monkey grass fairway, ball above the feet. And sometimes, no matter how well you're playing, this is what the grass will do. It just grabs the club and shuts the face. Now, I've not stood very well here, as you can see. Didn't have a lot of room to stand. I think I might have been better off in the in the bunker itself. Well, this is the worst shot of the round, unfortunately. A couple of inches fat. It was a tight hole, so it wanted the five wood. And this is probably the best shot of the round. It's uphill, the flag's back left, on a tiny, tiny little table. I need to hit the perfect draw. There he goes. This is down grain, and after Red Mountain, I just can't hit these downhill, down grain putts hard enough. I think this is probably one of the nicest little par threes I've ever played, especially with the green being at an angle to you, and water full of lilies. <laughs> That's another thing you get. Hole in one, hole in one. <laughs> I'm not a hole in one in 30 odd years of golf, so it's not going to start now, is it? Yeah, the greens are slow. 
and I'm struggling to adjust to them and, and how much the borrow goes. That's the same as at home as, as it is here, so it's not Thailand's fault, it's just going from fast green to slow green. I did wonder why I was given a 4 iron for this tee shot, but I hit it well enough and it worked out just fine. And then a 5 iron for the second shot up the right hand side. Again, very very nice. And it leaves me a 9 iron. But sometimes with this monkey grass, yeah. you can't seem to be able to get hold of the ball the way you really want to. And perhaps I was aiming a little right as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>